How's it going everyone, Toonster here, glad to be back. And today I wanted to talk about a hot issue in Dead by Daylight, which has kind of always been a hot issue, and that is slugging. There are kind of two main sides to slugging. There's the killer side of slugging is sometimes necessary, especially against good teams, or if you're playing as Oni or Hillbilly or a killer that can down a lot of people very quickly, which is true, I would generally agree with that. Slugging is sometimes necessary. But there's also the survivor side, which is being slugged is boring. The only two things you can do when your slugged is recover or crawl extremely slowly which i would also agree with i would say being slugged is usually not very fun this issue has been debated a lot and a lot of people have proposed that unbreakable become base kit not the part of unbreakable that lets you recover faster just the part where you can pick yourself up however sometimes if you're playing killer and you're facing a really good team that's splitting up on generators and they're all really good in chase then they make the mistake of grouping up and you want to capitalize off of that mistake if you can down multiple survivors, you can add a lot of pressure to that situation and turn the match around. Most good teams should know that grouping up is a mistake, and if you capitalize off of that mistake, I don't think you should be punished via base kit unbreakable. I'm not a fan of that idea. A lot of killers have also proposed that survivors just run anti-slugging perks. It's not a terrible idea to tell survivors to do this. Unbreakable is an amazing perk, and it single-handedly has won me games before. Also, you have perks like Boon Exponential and Soul Guard, which also help with slugging. But I don't like running perks where the value that I get out of them is determined by what the killer does. For example, you're not guaranteed value out of deliverance. However, if you play stealthy at the start or you just play super safe and chase by just pre-dropping pallets, you increase the chance that you will get value out of deliverance. That's on you, the perk user. However, if I run anti-slugging perks and the killer doesn't slug, I don't really get value out of them. And you can kind of take this argument over to a tunneling and running anti-tunneling perks, but that's for a different video. So in short, I'm not a fan of having to run perks just to counter slugging. So I was thinking, is there a base kit feature they could add that would stop slugging from being so boring to survivors, but also do it without nerfing killers so they're not punished for making the correct plays? And while I'm sure that the feature I'm about to propose probably has its flaws, and you can point them out in the comments if you'd like, I think adding something like this would help slugging without nerfing killers too much, if even at all. So here's what this feature would would look like. The current slugging timer is 4 minutes and the feature I'm proposing would have an effect kick in at the 3 minute mark. So if you're slugged for 1 minute you would get this effect. This effect would make the survivor crawl 25% faster and recover 10% faster. This is meant to be just a little buff for a down survivor so they can get picked up easier if they've been slugged for an entire minute because again being slugged for a whole minute that's pretty boring no one wants to go through that. However even when I used to play characters like Oni and Billy and blight i wouldn't even slug survivors for more than a minute like unless i couldn't find the survivors they usually weren't dropping below the one minute mark too often so i think something like this is minor enough that it wouldn't nerf those killers however it is major enough to help those down survivors get picked up faster However, the feature doesn't stop there. There is another effect that kicks in at 2 minutes. So this effect would make the survivor crawl 10% faster, so they would again crawl a little bit faster and recover another 5 faster. However, when they hit the 2 minute marks, survivors can now pick themselves up. They can get that base kit unbreakable, but only at the 2 minute mark. Now, I used to play a lot of Oni, and again, unless I was unable to find the survivor because they went to hide somewhere, I have never had to purposely slug a survivor for more than two minutes and if i'm playing a killer other than oni i've pretty much never gotten survivors under the two minute mark when i'm slugging them i don't need to slug them for that long and i really don't think any killer needs to be slugging survivors for that long two minutes is a long time for someone to be slugged so personally i think these two effects would really help survivors uh, against killers that really like to overly slug for too long and kind of draw the game out which makes the game a little bit boring however again i recommend that this is probably not a perfect implementation of this feature and it could probably be a little bit better but i think it's enough that most killers wouldn't even know this was added into the game if they just added it without them like putting it in patch notes now there are two more things to these effects that i want to add the first thing that i want to add is that if a survivor hits the three or two minute mark and gets the bonus effect let's say they get picked up if they get downed again they would keep those effects so if you pick yourself up 
up at the two minute mark and then the killer immediately downs you again you would be able to pick yourself up right away as soon as the bar fills up so these effects would be dependent on where your bar is not how long it's been since you went down for that one time if that makes sense the other thing that i want to add which is also technically like a third effect if a survivor is downed or on the killer's shoulder each time a hook is sabotaged it would move the threshold for the effect by five seconds up to a maximum of one minute now i know what i said is probably pretty confusing but basically each time a hook is sabotaged while you're down the time it takes to get the effect is increased by five minutes up to a maximum of a minute so if your teammates hypothetically sabotage 12 hooks you would have to be slugged for three minutes to get the base kit unbreakable instead of just two minutes the intention of a feature like this is to not punish killers for playing against sabotage squads because if you're trying to get someone to a hook and then the hook gets sabotaged and the other nearest hook is like really far away you have to slug them there is really no other choice and so if you do slug them it should take them a little bit longer to get those bonus effects now i know this is not perfect so whatever critiques you have of this leave it in the comments Comments. let me know what you thought of this video and hopefully i'll be making a lot more videos soon anyways thank you for watching everyone and peace